And Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Jinni naam te aya gaye mashakat kaal. They depart wor- this world having done this difficult thing, having gone so deep within themselves and rooted out all of the impurities and embedded the seed of naam and watered it with the wisdom of the Guru's Amrit and lived every breath with the pavan of the Guru, with the Guru on every breath. This is not easy. This is why Guru Nanak says, Jinni naam tiaya gaye mashakat kaal. Those who have done it, they did a very difficult job. So you have to underpin all of your intentions, thoughts, words and actions with the awareness of the One. That is what naam means, to be aware. And to live your highest experience of life. What is the highest version of life that you can imagine for yourself? Live that at all times. So we need to understand how can we do this? How are we going to achieve this? How are we going to make Naam the most important element in our DNA? Guru Nanak Dev Ji tells us, Guru Nanak Dev Ji has a Shabad on Ang 1021 where he talks about the same elements that he's mentioned in this Salok of water, earth and air. But in this Shabad, Guru Nanak Dev Ji puts those elements within the context of non-duality. Guruji says in this Shabad, Ape Tanaka Aap Sarbana You yourself are the bow, you yourself are the archer. You are all wise, beautiful and all-knowing. You are the speaker and you are the listener. You yourself made what is made. Then Guruji goes on in the next verse. Paun Guru Pani Pit Jata Air is the Guru and water is known to be the father. Udar Sanjog Tarti Mata The womb of the great mother gives birth to its all. To it all. So the air and the water are combined with the mother, and that gives birth to it all. Rand denas doe dai daya jag kele kelai he. Night and day are the two nannies, male and female, within which the world plays in this play. But then Guru goes on to the next verse. Ape machli ape jala. You yourself are the fish. You yourself are the net. Ape go ape rakvara. You are the cow and you are the cow herder, the farmer. Sarb jiya jag jot tumari jaisi prab furmai hai. Your light fills all beings of the world. They walk according to your command, O Divine. So there Guruji contextualizes the Pavan Guru Pani Pita Mata Dharth Mahat Divsara Dui Dai Daya concept Kele Sagal Jagat. Guruji contextualizes by saying in the, in the verse above it and the verse below it that this is all you. So those who can see the air, the water, the earth, the day, the night and the entire drama of the world as the one they are the ones who are reciting Nam. That is Nam Simran. Nam Simran isn't that I get lost in Maya, but every now and then I call Mr. God sitting in the sky. Nam Simran is you are water, you are air, you are earth, you are day, you are night, you are the play of the world. You are the sun, you are the moon. Guru Gobind Singh Ji in Akal Ustad says, Jale Hari, Thale Hari, Ure Hari, Bane Hari. That you are in the Jal, in the water, you are in the land. You are near and you are far. You are in the cave and you are in the forest. Guruji is reminding us right from 
the beginning of the Mool Mantar all the way throughout Guru Granth Sahib Ji, all the way throughout the Dasam Bani Shabads, throughout the Dasam Granth as well, that this is all the game of the One. And if you haven't understood, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is now clarifying, this is what it means, Jinni Naam Te Aya. Naam means to see the One in everything. Seeing that everything is the manifestation of the One, only those people are in true awareness of Naam. An interesting thing to note in this final salok is that within the first few lines there are many opposites. We have the air and then we have the earth. We have the father, then we have the mother. We have the male, the dai, and the daya, the female. We have the day, we have the night. We have the changiyanya, and then we have the buriyanya. We have the good and then the bad. We have the nere, and then we have the dur. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji has brought lots of different ideas, but has paired them together. And Guru Ji is demonstrating that behind all of the world there is an inherent duality. But what is the solution to seeing the world as left or right, up or down, seeing the world in duality, seeing the world in opposites? Jinni naam te aya game shakat kal. Doing the hard work of seeing through the duality. Never recognizing anything as opposites. Never seeing some people as your friends and some pe people as your enemies. Guru Nanak Dev Ji has taught us this message. The Gurus say that Nako Bari Nai Begana. No one is my enemy. No one is a stranger. Sagal Sang Hamko Bani Ai. I am friends with everyone. I have made a friendship with everyone. But we have to learn that this Nam Simran isn't something you do, it is interwoven into every aspect of our life. If you're doing lots of Nam Simran, but you're looking down at somebody else for not doing it, you're lost in duality. Your Nam Simran is useless. Your Nam Simran is increasing your ego. If you're doing lots of Nam Simran, but you still have people that you dislike, and you still have people that you like, your Nam Simran is wasting your time. No amount of Nam Simran you do is going to help if you're not allowing the Nam Simran to break your ego, if you're not allowing the Nam Simran to break your duality, if you're not allowing the Nam Simran to break your relationship with Maya. This is what it means, Jinni Nam Te Aya. The awareness of nothing but the One, the ultimate non-dual realization. Nam is the destroyer of opposites. Nam, oneness, is the destroyer of duality. Nanak te mukh ujale keti chutti nal. Nanak concludes by saying, Nanak te mukh ujale. Their faces radiate. Their mukh, their faces ujale. They radiate. Keti chutti nal. And by doing so, They've already departed. They've saved themselves, but they also emancipate many others. Nanak, their faces radiate, and so many are emancipated along with them. Their faces are bright and illuminating. The ones who can see the light of Nam in everyone else, their faces are shining. It is like a torch. Because they are radiating Nam, they can only see the light of Nam everywhere else. They have known that Divine Presence and they recognize oneness in everything. And this is the goal of all religions, union with that Divine, destruction of falsehood. So awareness of Nam is the ultimate form of purity. If you think you are being pure just by cleaning, just by having clean hands, clean clothes? 
washing several times a day. Guru Nanak Dev Ji has already explained that this is not purity. Soche soch na hove, je sochi lakhwar. You will not be clean just by cleaning a hundred thousand times. And what will you do if your hands are clean? What will you do if your clothes are clean? Pariye hat per tanade pani tote utreske. If your hands and feet are dirty, wash them with water. Mut paliti kapar hoi de sabun leye odoi. If your clothes are stained, rinse them with soap. But still, that doesn't get rid of the filth of the mind. Pariye mat papa ke sang o tope nave ke rang. Naam is the only thing that can clean the filth of your mind, of your sins. What is the external cleansing that's going to do for you when internally you haven't learned that Naam is the cleanser? So if you're seeking purity in life, Naam is the purity. Naam is the purity that breaks the veil of separation. It is the ultimate purity. The very first question in the very first verse, give satyara hoye, give kure to tepal. How do we cleanse ourselves? How do we become true and pure and good? How do we remove the veil of falsehood? Guru Nanak Dev Ji is concluding Japji Sahib by saying, Jinni naam te aya, game mashakat kaal, nanak te muk ujale, keti chuti naal. Guru says that a person who has this amount of naam, they save themselves and they save everyone around them. And in this last few words, we get Guru's final instruction. Go and seek out such a person that you may also know how to live. Find someone who is living like this. They have succeeded in their life. They've achieved the purpose of their being. So they're now not here living on earth to achieve any other goal. They're not going out trying to achieve material success because they've achieved the purpose of their life. So they are there waiting to serve you. Go and find them. Such a saint walking around is the word of the Guru. If you want to know what the Guru has to say, if you want to have a conversation with the Guru, find such a walking, living, breathing example of the Guru's message. They are intoxicated by Naam, by this conscious awareness. And in their company, maybe we can also get intoxicated by that Naam. We can also, through their example, know what it means to walk on the Guru-facing path. So in this final Salok of Japji Sahib, Guru has highlighted the path of Dharam and the mission of mankind. The choice you make at every moment is whether to climb up the ladder or whether to go lower, to progress or to recede. Every code of conduct written by eminent Sikh scholars and mystics has said that reciting and contemplating Japji Sahib daily is an essential part of staying steadfast on this path and walking this arduous journey to realize our place and our connection with the ocean of one. Wai Guruji ka Khalsa, Wai Guruji ki Fateh.